So the first thing you'll notice in OS 10.8 uh, is that in the preferences, in the sharing panel, the web sharing option, which was down the bottom, has been removed. But Apache is still inside OS 10, and to get to it, we need to really operate uh, or, or send a couple of commands to, commands to the terminal. So let's go to the terminal. Let's go to which lives in applications and it lives in utilities. And inside there is terminal. And let's just make a copy of that to our dock. New window, homebrew. That's pretty cool. So how we start Apache is, well, first of all, what we should really talk about is where where is the actual web sharing root in OS 10? So we go to a finder, we'll find that that main folder now uh, is in your Macintosh HD. Go to column mode, library, web server, documents. That is where your file sharing route is. So anything you put in here will be served when your web server is running. To get your web server running, go into terminal and just close that tab down what we're going to do is sudo super user do apache ctl so apache control i suppose ctl is and then start and ask for my password that's apache started how do we know it started let's go into the Browser, create a new tab, and our local web root is localhost. It works. Stop Apache. I'm going to use the up arrow in terminal to bring back my last command. Start. Let's stop it. I refresh Apache. <clears throat> uh, we can't connect. We fail to open the page. So just start, stop, and there's also one other command. You can just restart as well. Return, and then reload, and Apache is running. Okay, so the next part is getting PHP running. Now, staying in terminal here, PHP is, um, you have to enable the module from the Apache configuration file. So the Apache configuration file lives in CD, change directory, etc. Apache 2, you can tab to complete and then list the items in there and we can see httpd.conf. That's the folder, that's the file that we have to edit. And in terminal you can use a simple text editor called nano. So you would proceed with sudo super user nano n a n o h t t p d dot com and then open that file up. So we need to find the PHP line. So we need to hit Control W for where it is and search PHP. Enter, and we can see that. The cursor's landed on the PHP 5 module. Just tab on the arrow key to the left hand side and then delete the hash sign or the pound sign so it's uncommented and then the module's ready. And write that file out. So we can just control X to exit. It asks us to save the changes, Y for yes, and then we're going to write httpd.conf. And that's, that's PHP loaded. So the only thing we have to do now is restart Apache to kick that in. And just arrow up from a few commands before. sudo apache ctl restart return. So that's Apache, that's PHP now loaded in. How do we know it's really loaded in? Let's create a new document and make it a plain text document. Open the PHP 
and then PHP info. And then close PHP. So we're just going to call uh, all the PHP information about the actual PHP installation in this machine. So if I save that, I'll just save it to my desktop and we'll call it PHP info.php. So there it is on my desktop. Now I'm going to drag that into my document route. So let's go to Finder, Documents, and drag it in there. And I've got to authenticate. There it is. Now let's browse to it in the actual browser. So localhost, and it's in the top level of my route. So it's PHP info. PHP. And there it tells me the latest version 5.3.15 and it's all loaded ready to go. So to, into, to install uh, MySQL you need to get the um, latest version from the MySQL website and the one at the moment at this point of recording is the uh, 5.6.12 for, um, for well it says 10.7 but you can you can run it on 10.8 and it's a 64-bit 64, 64 one. And what will also be downloading as well is the um, PHP MyAdmin latest package 4.0.3. And you can download the, uh, the tar.gz or, or the .zip file, whichever one uh, takes your preference. And, that, and we've got three installations. We've got the, the core application preference pane to start, stop it and the startup item to start it when the machine boots up. So let's install the main one first of all. Now you've got to right click or control click open these to get past the gatekeeper. So open there and install. Install the preference pane. Uh, again, you've got to right click it or control click, open that. Do you want to install it just for you or for all the users? Depends on what your setup is for security. Um, I don't care, I'm going to install it for everybody. Put my password in. And I'm going to start the MySQL server. And I'm going to ask it to automatically start on startup. And I'm also going to then install the startup item, which again, I've got to right, control, open, continue, install. So that completes the MySQL installation. So you can also interact with MySQL from the actual command line itself. And you have to navigate to where it's installed, which is in the, um, so we go to CD, it's in the user, local, MySQL, one, bin, and it's all in there. So now we've got our, we've moved to that folder, you can see all the MySQL information in there. So. What we can do here is then actually see the version. And it opens up into a um, interactive uh, session with MySQL. So here we now we can share the databases and carry on from there. Quit that. And we need to set a um, set a password up for the root user. So we do this from here as well. So once you, you, you get into this area, into this directory in the filing system, you can set your, your password. So here we would do MySQL admin and minus user root. And then your password's got to be in um, single quotes. So I'm just going to do root for here. I've done something wrong, I forgot to put the password in, so I'll up arrow and then put password and 
and that's it, it is now taking it. So that's the pass, that's the root password taken from ISQL, which is completely different from the OS10 password. So you CD into the directory first of all. So PWD, print workable directory, will show us where we are, which is user slash local slash MySQL slash binary. And there we run the MySQL admin uh, command dash u root password and put the root and put your password in there in in single quotes so um, so really that's how mysql is installed and it's up and running and the last part is to do php my admin to install php my admin one of the things we need to do first of all is to add a directory into the file system and then point the socket file to that directory that php my admin thinks the socket's going to live so Let's create the directory first of all, and we need to be a super user to to do this. So that's sudo make directory, and it's going to be in var and slash var, and it is mysql password. And now we're going to create a link to the socket. So sudo it's ln s for soft, a soft link, and this is where the socket file, um, where OS10 puts it, which is slash tmp slash my sql dot soft. We want to link that to where PHP my admin thinks it is. It's var my sql slash my sql.soc so that's the command so that's the two commands done so now we're gonna install php my admin so it's in my downloads folder php my admin it's already been um, uncompressed so let's just change the name to php my admin make it easier when we browse to it and now we're going to create a folder inside that called config and we need to make that writable make it writable okay now all we have to do is drag that into our document root back in a uh, library web server documents and then paste okay now we go to set it up in the browser itself so php my admin set up Okay, so we're going to create a new server and we're going to go to the authentication tab and put the password in for MySQL which I set mine up as root save that and really the, you can change the end of line to be Linux Unix and that's right to go so we just save the configuration and it's saved so if we go back to the finder now and have a look in PHP my admin. There is a config folder with a config file. It's best practice to move that out, uh, move it up a level, and then get rid of that config directory itself. So now going back to the browser, we can now log in. Root. So that's just going to um, PHP my admin. And there we have it. That's your um, that's your uh, local development running with uh, Apache, PHP, MySQL, and PHP MyAdmin. Thanks for listening.